You know, we live in a world where a lot of people wish that they had power. But you have to, uh, well, there's different reasons why people want power. I would love to love to have power so that I have the power to help other people. You know, so that I can have the power to especially focus on older ones. Because like the Bible says, once a person hits the age of 60, then that's when their family members are supposed to look out. <clears throat> and I see a lot of older people out here eating cat food, dog food, can't afford the rents, uh, becoming more and more homeless, and they're really going through it. So I would really like the power so that I can empower other people, maybe not just older people, but anyone who is having a hard way to go, you know? But I was just listening to this young lady and she was showing the difference between the reason why men want power and the reason why women want power. Listen in. Who dream of having power. Ladies. There are some young men in this world who dream of having power so they can abuse that power. And there are young women who dream of having power so that they will no longer have to be abused. And that is the ultimate divide. Dad. Is that a young man gets to grow up and go, I can't wait till I have power because I can do whatever I want and no one will stop me. And a young woman goes, once I have power, I won't have to worry about anyone using theirs against me. There are some young men in this world who dream of having power so they can abuse that power. And there are young women who dream of having power so that they will no longer have to be abused. And that is the ultimate divide. Dad. Is that a young man gets to grow up and go, I can't wait till I have power because I can do whatever I want and no one will stop me. And a young woman goes, once I have power, I won't have to worry about anyone using theirs against me. There are some young men in this. You know, when you think about it, you think about why is it that you have a lot of these men who are working so hard, like these rappers and all of these other men who are working in the corporate world so that they could rise to the top, so that they could have all of this power. And it's mainly so that they can have different women. They want to be able to jump from woman to woman. It's all about women with them. They want to, to, to be able to set it up where, well, I could have threesomes. I could do what I want, uh, whether she likes it or not. She has to accept my bullery. You know, uh, normally, yeah, women and men, like they say, are very, very different. Like they say, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Mars is the planet of war and battle and fighting. Whereas Venus is the planet of love, gentleness, kindness, beauty. And it's just amazing how different a lot of these men are. Unless, of course, they've turned their life over to Christ, then they know how to be more humane. You know, because you have so many women now. I'm looking around where I live in New York and women are not even giving men this a second look. They're just looking at men so differently. I know that I am. I look at them differently. And I have the Jehovah Jesus to thank for that, you know, because they help to open a lot of our eyes. Because I used to see men, <clears throat> to be honest with you, I thought that men were uh, powerful mentally. I've always saw men as the ones who are supposed to be the leader. And if you're supposed to be the leader, then in my head, you must be brilliant. You must be highly intelligent. You must be so amazing. You know, if God said that a man is the head over women and children, then for him to be the head, or if he's going to be the, how you say, the captain of the ship, he has to know how to govern the, 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 the what is it? The, um, the crew, the crew is the women and the children. And, and I'm finding that these men, oh my God, it's, it's, it's just mind blowing that they are not mentally, emotionally <laughs> equipped. You're supposed to be a leader. You're supposed to be in charge. You can't even control your head in your pants. They can't even control that. How are you supposed to lead somebody and control somebody when you can't even control yourself? You know, and, and I look at them so differently 
thanks to social media, the internet, YouTube, uh, is showing what these men really are behind the mask. You know, all of these men are coming out of the woodwork showing us exactly how they really think and how they really feel about things. And it's just sad. They, they have such a, and of course I'm not speaking of all men, you know, uh, 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 they have such a, a violent, abusive, harsh, aggressive personality. Now I know that they're designed, you know, to, you, to protect their family and they have to have some degree of warrior <laughs> in them, but you know, there's a time and place when you can bring that crap out. You don't bring that out when it comes to women and children. None of he's dealing with other men out there who wants to try to run game or try to hurt his family. Then he has to raise up. We get that part. Why he goes to the gym, he's pumping iron so he can be strong. Why he's taking up martial arts. So if you come up against my family, you going down. We get that part. But when it comes to how you handle women and children, yeah, and, and when it comes to raising your sons, you have to turn that off. Of course, you raise your son to know how to protect his family, but more importantly, you, you raise your son to be a spiritual leader. So you hopefully don't have to take it to that violent part. But um, a lot of these boys are out here with their sex, sex crisis, they're fighting to identify their sexuality, their gender crazy. And it's like the men, they got to do better. Do I believe that they can do better? Yes, I do. I know they can do better. Will they do better? Some of them will. Some of them are going to, am I being foolish or am I being a, a, a fairy tale girl? Uh, no, I'm not fairy tale girl far from it. And I don't watch the Disney channel. Unless I'm hanging out with some little kids or whatever the hell, hanging out with some whatever people. And uh, yeah, I, I just, I still have belief that they can do better. But they have got to turn their life over to God and Christ and be sincere about it. And they have to work like a dog to strip off the old personality and put on the new Christ-like personality. That's what they're going to have to do. And I know they've been through a lot. A lot of these men have been through hell and back. But they're strong. The Bible says the woman is the weaker sex. He's strong. And I know you. he don't want to be strong all the time. That's when he gets to come home. He's supposed to come home. And he has his peace. But he has to, you know, not be mean. Don't be mean and hateful and, and just mean. And if you have an off day, because we all have days when we don't want to be bothered, just come home. Babe, I had a, a really rough one. I and she, The woman says, I get it, babe. What's up? Dinner's ready or over here somewhere. You lay down and let me take, just take the load off. Don't even think. Just, I won't even bother you. You know, we understand all of that. Women, we're, we're, we're awesome. We can be your peace if you just let us. But they, they have to stop being so mean and so aggressive and so angry. But like she says, you know, there's a different reason why men want power and then the reason why women want power. Like I said, I want power so I can empower people who need help. And there you have it. Twinkle, 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 my beautiful diamonds and my what? My Teletubbies.